gonna make a house in a tree, but it's gonna be the most unsafe thing you could possibly do and I should get the heck down underground because it's getting night time quick. Every zombie here you I mean it's some razor sharp spikes you're walking on. Not nothing to cry over. Jeez. Ah, let's push this press. Sweet. It's pretty like basic like Minecraft. Just a bit more like sideways I guess. That's a pickaxe. Now first off, we're gonna dig our way down with a shotgun. Shit, can I? I feel like mining and keeping your thirst up or stamina up is pretty good as you use less drugs. Thank you. 
short little thing first. Don't have enough cloth. So yeah. Not that, okay. No plywood. You can make something pretty handy. Okay, no, that's wrong. There we go. Now and if I just Where is it? The storage chest. Make sell all the plywood we got. Eh, there is enough. Oh yeah, and if you like put stuff in there, like the shit, the cloth, it won't disappear. Any smaller stuff? Yes, there's a smaller stuff. And I just do like that. Get the cloth. And there we go. This water is really taking a lot of space. I'm gonna use like all of it on the mining. Oh, and as you see, they spawn like this cobweb. I don't know quite yet what I used for yet, but I'll find out. So yeah, that's been all for episode three for me. Yeah, stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. I just found like a big hole in the ground in seven days to die. Like a world hole. It goes like through the bedrock thing at the end. There's one upper end store. Wow! Midair! What Got the shut fuck? down. Yeah, no. <laughs> that was a fail. You just. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. And then you get the ball damage. Damn. Oh my god! I turned the corner and straight down. <laughs>